Welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I've got two days growth. I'm going to tackle it now with the same razor I've used pretty much exclusively since it arrived, and that is the Home Like Calibri, or the Home Like Hummingbird, Calibri being hummingbird in Russian. Now, it's a very well constructed, it's a lovely looking razor, it is well polished. I don't know whether it's hand polished, but it is well polished. Now, I have popped on here, you can probably see that massive blade gap. The 1.5, is it 1.5? Yeah, so you see it on that side there. 1.5 blade gap. Now, same issues again, trying to take the top cap off. I don't know why this razor is so, I, I put the same blade into my carb and it doesn't hurt my fingers, but when I try and take this off by gripping the sides, it's digging in already, but when I twist it, the two, two pointy parts, it's just uncomfortable to take off. It's a lot of overhang. And the plastic washer, this, this came to me last night, I'm thinking, you know what, these are all an environmentally friendly razor. It's stainless steel, it's recyclable, it's reusable, it's, it'll last forever really. I mean, this will probably never get made into anything else, it'll probably stay a DE razor forever. But selling a DE razor these days with plastic washers just doesn't make any sense to me, something that is non it's just, I mean, plastic, seriously. If you're going to put it in, at least make it plant-based or recycle plastic or something, but this comes with three washers, which I can only imagine are plastic, wrapped inside a little plastic bag. It just defeats the purpose of making an environmentally friendly razor, which these are, if you buy DE blades that don't come with plastic and things. So it's just a quick observation. But that being said, it's still a great shaver. There's nothing wrong with the shave from it. It's just a bit odd that they would make a razor that needs a washer to make it fit correctly. I don't know, maybe I need to stop whinging about it. It still shaves great. So for today, Ariana and Evans Kaizen. Now, the scent on this still, it doesn't blow me away. It's a very fruity scent, but it just reminds me of orange flavoured cowpole or paracetamol, liquid paracetamol that you used to get when you were a kid. That's what it reminds me of. So it obviously reminds me a little bit of when I was unwell, but I don't mind the scent of it because it is citrus. The brush for today is my Strike Gold Shave again. Yes, you guessed it, another Rhodium Knot Shave. I, I've, I've said it several times and I find it very hard to pick up other brushes at the moment. I'm just enjoying these Rhodium Knots so much. And I'm not using them to try and sell them, but I mean, Surjan doesn't need the business. He's a busy, busy guy. He's got a lot of, lot of brushes on the go, a lot of knots on the go. And that is why. Just fantastic knots. Right, I'm just going to pour this. I've just soaked the soap for literally a few seconds there. There we go. That's all you need, a Kaizen. I don't even know how long that load was, but I can tell you it wasn't very long. I would say it was probably less than 10 seconds. It might prove me wrong here. I might, might make an arse of myself, but I reckon I'll have enough load on that brush there to do three passes comfortably. There's something wonderful about this soap base. I don't quite know what it is. Obviously, Peter Charcalis, who makes it, who created this soap base, has created something somewhat of a gem, really. It just works beautifully. It works perfectly every time. It makes a really thick, voluminous, dense lather. It's slick. It's protective. The post shave is excellent as well. I mean, I always put a post shave on anyway, a, a balm or a splash of some sort. I'll probably go with some Lucky Tiger today. And here we go. I am going to do a comparison as well on one of my upcoming shaves of the density of these brushes that come from Surja and these knots. I'm going to compare it with the Van Turing from That Darn Rob, which is a 26mm. This one's a 25mm. And I'll just give you an idea on how much more hair is involved in making a handmade dense knot. I suppose the fact it's handmade doesn't make much difference. You can make a dense knot that's not hand knotted, I suppose. Right. Just put the tips. It's going to be a tough one this year, I tell you. Picking my soap of the year. There's been some fantastic soaps that have been created this year. New guys and old guys alike.
you can see how thirsty this is. I mean, I'm dipping and dipping and dipping, and it's not really getting translucent. Now I did use this brush, sorry, I did use this razor off camera for a head shave and I used the 0.8 blade gap and it worked pretty well with the grain, it was good but when I went against the grain I couldn't get a BBS shave, I just couldn't do it, I don't know whether it was the blade, it might have been the blade, I'm not sure, the Paul Silver but I just could not get a BBS shave. So I had to pull out my leaf razor to finish off. Now you've seen how little I loaded this brush, it still needs a shit ton of water. If you buy some Kaizen, expect it to last a long time. Because you don't need a lot of it to have a good shave. In fact, what's in this brush right now would probably shave my head and my face for three passes. And you can just see how dense that is. Having a bit of a disco there. Just a fantastic soap. Definitely one of the easiest to ladder. And definitely one of the front runners for top soap of the year. That's just a hook straight here that's popped out. Now this Kaizen actually tastes quite nice as well. But that is just an exceptional ladder. Easy to work with, easy to ladder up, but it just takes a lot of water, so don't load it super heavy if you're there all day like I am. Here we go. Home like Calibri 1.50 blade cap. I did watch Kevy shaves use this and he said it felt absolutely brilliant so let's just see how we go see if there's any of that sort of blade charter type fuel with it surprisingly that feels smoother than the point eight I've got the same blade in it See that's two days growth, gone, well, 
I'm gone, but pretty well gone. I am being quite careful with it, so. It's just melting through the air. I said it's so slick. Just got myself there for sure, hundred percent. Wasn't a cut; it was more just that went over a little bump and so much blade showing, but it caught me. I mean, that is a fair old blade gap. Now, of course, blade gap doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be an aggressive or an efficient shade. It just means it's a big gap between the blade and the base plate. You have to take into consideration. The, the blade exposure, the angle of the blade, there's, there's so much you have to take into account. That felt much smoother than the point eight base plate does, so that's quite surprising. I wasn't really expecting that, but as you can see, it's a cracker. Just knock that in the head right now. I'm going to stick it. Right, and back in with the phenomenal Mariana and Evans Kaizen. Across the green now. Tell you what, that must have been a good cut because it's, it's still bleeding through. I can certainly feel the blade now. I mean, not a mega amount, but I can feel it.
wipe that again. Second pass down, I've got just that one that I felt straight away. I think I'd been a little bit more careful with it. I mean, I cut myself there. I would have had so far a blood free shave. I'm not used, I'm really not used to using this sort of blade gap. Not used to having to be so careful. The car razor office may I raise it, but you didn't really need to worry about it, you just use it. That was a just thickness is off the charts. It always is. A little bit of styptic is sucking some of the life out of the lather. But not that much. But like I said, very very short load for an incredibly dense, creamy, thick lather. I just introduced a little bit of water there. But it's just, it feels amazing on the skin. It's really heavy lather as well. It feels substantial. Right, cross the grain of the weight. I mean, I don't feel, it's not a scary razor to use, it's not like picking up a Mueller R41 or anything like that, it feels really smooth and comfortable to use. It's certainly got great audible feedback. Now I will say the blade does still have that raspy sort of feels like the blade's not clamped super tight but it could just be the, the sort of the way the blade is curved in there. I, I don't know, it's, it's great audible feedback if that's what you're looking for in a razor. This is certainly quite loud. felt a little bit, I wouldn't say rough, but it felt a little bit much for my skin. It's just a little bit too efficient for me. It's very, very efficient this razor. Especially with this plate on it, the 1.5 blade gap, it's very, very efficient. Once again, it's given me a really nice shave, and so far it doesn't feel like I've really got any irritation, other than where I've cut myself. Yeah, look at that. I knew that was coming. That probably happened around my lip as well.
Yep. It's a great shave of the 1.5 blade gap. It is smooth. Against the grain it's not as smooth as a 0.8. Not for me at least. I, I did find that quite sort of rough under here and I've got the, the blood to show it, to prove it. At the end of the day, this isn't a blade a blade cap that I would really use much at all. If any, to be honest with you. But what I can say is if you like a big blade gap, you like a bit of blade feel and you like it to be very efficient and quick. I wouldn't say this is an aggressive razor, I would just say it's an efficient razor, very efficient. It didn't feel anything like a Mule at R-Force you want or anything like that where you actually feel like the blade's going to scrape your skin off. But it has caused me a little bit of grief under there, for sure. Other than that, everything else actually went quite well with it, I was quite happy with it. Now I am going to use some Lucky Tiger because the scent sort of matches a little bit, sort of citrus. This one is the Aftershave and Face Tonic. I do like this stuff, it's actually very very good at calming down some irritated skin, which I'm definitely going to have under my chin. I'll let that dry off and then I'll probably need to touch up under the chin again where the blood will be. But we'll let it dry off first. I'll rinse the brush out. I think, to be honest with you though, I can't really. For how short that load was, you can really see the quality of the lather. It's just incredible stuff. No, no, it's quite a fair bit of blood actually. I'm just not used to it, to be honest with you. It's not something that I'm a, a big fan of anymore. I used to chase very aggressive, massive blade gaps, blade feely, scary razors. And to be honest, maybe in the beginning when I started my channel, it was all about getting views and getting people on board and getting people to watch and, you know, running that risk of getting a lot of blood. But I've moved away from that now. I've, I've moved away from the experimental stage. I moved into the, I'm looking for comfort and, and great shave stage. And of course, when you get sent new stuff like this, you, you have to try it all out and show everyone how each thing works. Unlike Kevy Shaves and Paul H and many of the other guys out there, they're very proficient in using mild razors as well as aggressive, efficient razors. And as much as I can use them, which you just saw, I don't have the same touch or the same sort of ability as those guys have got in terms of getting a, a blood-free, irritation-free type shave. Just a little bit of soap in the knot. Yeah, look at that. That looks way worse than it is, because there's actually still some water on my face. They don't water some of the Lucky Tiger. to look at but I just uh, give you one last little switch. I mean they aren't major and to be honest with you the Lucky Tiger will work its magic and in half an hour's time you won't even know. It's not like I'm majorly irritated from the razor it's just it's opened up quite a few weepers. I've only got one round my lip which is more surprising than anything. I thought my, my lips would have got smashed but they didn't. So yes, Ariana and Evans Kaizen is a citrus type medicinal scent. Very, very nice. Great scent strength. It's very strong. I would imagine certain people would probably react to it. The fact I haven't would give most people hope that their skin would be okay with it because I react to most things that aren't quite right. The Strike Gold Shave. Frank sent this over to me very kindly. I sent it over to Sergian who polished up the handle for me. There's a couple of little marks on it. 
and then knotted this beautiful 25 millimeter silver tip knot in there and it's really I'm really over the moon with the knots from Serge and over at Rhodium Knots and to be honest with you it's making me really contemplate getting rid of a lot of my brushes if not most of them all of them apart from the Rhodium it's probably a couple I would keep for sure but as you guys know I don't keep what I don't use it's just the way I am the razor tonight was the home like shaving Calibri which is hummingbird in Russian stainless steel polished beautiful knurling on this handle honestly it's so grippy I can't I can't emphasize it enough it is, it is super super grippy even covered in silk you ain't gonna drop this razor unless you're a klutz the head I, I do love the, the thin styling on the head it's easy to get under the nose it's, it's a great shaver it, it's not as smooth as the calf no doubt about it it is not as smooth as the calf but it gives you a great end result and with the 1.5 blade gap that I used today for three passes and a touch up I think what I got in terms of blood it's pretty good for the first time I've used a razor like this in a while with such a big blade gap I have noticed with it, it does sort of you can probably see on the top cap there it sticks a lot of things sort of the soap and things stick to it but it polishes up beautifully like I say the only thing that's a pain in the ass with it is, is twisting it to get it open without cutting your fingers yes, I can't even get it open it's, that for me is poorly designed I think that could have been done better. To be honest, I would just have covered the tabs up and just get rid of the tabs altogether or cover them up so that there's just a slight bit of them. I know they're trying to stick to traditional and the look of it and everything in it. It does look traditional when you have the tabs out, but I don't know. I would either get rid of them altogether or just have a very small amount sticking out and get rid of the washer. Honestly, the washer is a pain in the ass. If you only had a washer to a normal razor, then that's your own prerogative. But this is almost forcing me to use a washer which is made out of plastic that I don't really want to use and it's a pain in the ass to put it back on and stuff things like that just annoy me you know quite pedantic with things and like I say this is such a beautiful razor I think they've just let it down a couple of bits with a blade overhanging with the, the washer but you know, other than that I mean that is, it is what it is everything on these caps and things is all beautifully engraved you can see that sort of recess there that holds the washer but the, the, it's a lovely made razor, very well polished, well presented, well priced, 175 bucks for the four plates razor. It's, it really is, it's a great razor. Finished off today with Lucky Tiger after shaving face tonic, which has done a great job. As you can see, it's still a little bit, but it is, it is not most of that on the head. Surprisingly, no blood down here and no blood up here. So... I'm actually very, very happy with the shave overall. And like I say, I'm actually BBS under here. It's very good. It is a very good razor. You know, if you're looking for something premium without that massive premium price tag like Wolfman and things like that, even Timeless, I think Timeless are more expensive than this. It's a great razor. Is it better than the Start Razor? From home, like, I pr much prefer this handle. I much prefer the, the finish on this. It's a much better looking razor. I much prefer the head. I actually think the shave on the start razor was better than what this one is. I don't have it anymore to be able to test it, um, but I think this is just a little bit rougher than what the start razor was. It was a little bit smoother, closer to the carve type feel on your face. But ultimately, it gives a great shave, it gives a close shave, and it's probably worth the money for sure, if that's what you're looking for. And anyway, with that, I'm at, what am I at? Fucking 30 minutes. Come on, Matt. I'm crying out loud. I'm getting sick of these long videos. I actually enjoy making them, I'm just getting sick of the fact that I'm sending them out for you guys to watch and I keep forgetting to take the adverts off, I know, I'm sorry, I, I'm just I've uploading and then I've got to wait until it processes and it's just a pain in the ass, so I am trying my best to do that and I do forget, so if, if it does happen, put a comment on and I'll try and remember to go on and turn the adverts off because I don't like them myself. One advert at the start on any video I'm happy with watching something like that, but having to click through fucking five is a pain in the ass. Anyway, I'm done and dusted. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.